get uh, our crack security staff on the pace of this show here. <laughs> Roger, where's Selena Gomez? She's going inside the studio now, buddy. You lost Selena Gomez? <laughs> oh, never, man. I got my eye on her. Well, where she's are you? you? She's in your studio. I'm inside that green room right now. What are you doing in there? Uh, looking for food. <laughs> All right. Oh, here I see her. Okay, thanks. Right, we don't want to bother you. Go, go you... food and then a 10 100. That's what happens. Oh, my God. Hey, not 10 100 right now, buddy. What's wrong with you? I'll call it. you later for that. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Come on in. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Selena Gomez. We found her. I was a little worried for a second. It's dangerous, Roger, out there before breakfast. So I was just saying you smell good. Thank you. What, what perfume are you wearing? Um, I'm wearing Paris Hilton. Why do you say it with hesitation? There's no problem with that. If I'm it smells saying. good, look, if it smells just, good, wear it proudly. I'm okay. Well, I'm just saying it's not something that I would normally wear. Why not? I don't know. Did you buy it or was yeah, it given I to it. you? I, I saw it at a store and I and smelled it. But at that point of purchase, just to go through the psychology here, at that point of purchase, you saw it was Paris Hilton and you thought... I just, I mean, it's not something I would normally go. But now, to. what if, what if you put out cologne named Selena Gomez, mm -hmm. and I saw it, and I thought well, I wouldn't normally buy that, but I put it on, you know, my forearm, and I was like, well, it mixes well with my body chemistry. Do you think I should be embarrassed about that? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm wearing Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> I got a sample in the mail. <laughs> I, I, gotta, I gotta get somebody. Can I have a starlet, please? Somebody order me a liquid starlet. You need starlet. to wear someone. Um, let's start with the song I just played a clip of, "Naturally," which is a big hit. We're playing it here on Kiss FM. What's the Thank song you. about? Naturally is basically a song about these two people who have a connection that they can't ignore. The feelings that they have come naturally. And so it's just something that's really fun and it's got a dance beat to it. And it's one of my favorite songs off the record. So what happens when you have that feeling? Do you try and fight that feeling or do you embrace it generally? That feeling. You embrace it. Aren't <laughs> you, you embrace supposed it? to? Yes. Well, it depends on where you are in your life. I think some people want to have that feeling later and some sooner than later. You follow me? Yes. That feeling is there. You can't fight the feeling. But if you if you have the feeling at a time when you can't really endure what might come from the feeling because you've got Wizards of Waverly Place tapings <laughs> and you've got an album to record and you you got movies to do, then that might seem like it's Don't stressful. Let him affect you so therefore, I might change the song to stressful. Really? I mean, it, it could with all that going on. Not really. When but, I'm on stage, it's just fun. How many hours a day do you work? Uh, ten and a half. And how do you divide up your social time then? Because you got to have time for yourself. You're young and you're in Hollywood. Yeah, I, I try to find time. My mom makes sure that I have most of my weekends off. How old are you? I'm 17. I forget about that. Because she, sound, she sounds 26. <laughs> you always ask me how old I am. Because you, well, if I'm closing my eyes right now listening on the radio, you, you sound like you could be doing metro traffic. You know? You could be in the, you could be in the chopper right now. Well, let's take you. a look at the 10 right now. We've got a little <laughs> stop and go. Uh, all right, let's play this song. We'll come back. Selena Gomez, a massively successful career and huge ratings on Wizards of Waverly Place. We'll talk about that next, too. This is, you know, that natural chemistry. Naturally. <laughs> Kiss. If you're following us on Twitter, I just uh, tweeted a picture of Selena Gomez without the scene. Uh, that's Selena Gomez and the scene called Naturally from her debut album, Kiss and Tell, which is out now. You waited a little, a minute to do an album, didn't you? Because the show was successful yeah. and then you waited a minute to yes. do it. Was that just to sort of get everything in order? Yeah, absolutely. Focus on the show and then get to tackle Who's the scene? The scene? Yeah. That's my band. Okay. And who makes up the scene? Uh, it's Ethan, uh -huh. who plays my lead guitar. Right. We have Dane on keys. Uh -huh. Slide up a little closer to that microphone. Sorry. We have Dane uh -huh. on keys, <laughs> and then we have Greg on drums, and then Joey on bass. And so it's all dudes? Yes. And so how's your mom feel about you in the scene? Uh, good. Why? Well, because it's all dudes and who her daughter. Like 10 years older oh, than me. <laughs> are they? All right. Yeah. Well, you, you know, you have to paint the picture for me, so I understand. I'm just looking out for you. I'm looking out for you. you. Why do you? I was looking at the ratings too. Wizards, huge, the biggest rating yet, with 6.2 million viewers the other Friday night. What do you attribute that to? I mean, I can't. I I don't know. I mean, with my show, it's just so much fun to work on it. And I remember that night was the telethon mm -hmm. night, so I didn't want to. I didn't want to tell people to go watch our show when other things more important were going on in the world. But just to hear those ratings, it's just it makes me feel really happy and it feels like we're doing a good thing do parents do, do moms and dads come up to you and say hey we love your show we like watching with our kids or do kids come up to you and say that? yeah no it's both i mean we just had a, a taping this past tuesday with a live audience and there was like 10 college kids there there were like grown <laughs> kids there it was no. awesome it was really cool they were there to come watch it the scenes friends <laughs> the scenes buddies <laughs> exactly. the do you ever get nervous in front of a studio audience yeah oh yeah I, that that's what that's the fun part that's what keeps me on my toes what, what do you worry about 
Well, I mean, making a kid laugh, you want to make sure you're funny. So if you say a joke and they don't laugh, that doesn't feel very good. Do you have any trouble memorizing lines? No. That's, thank goodness, I'm very lucky with that. Uh, it's like a song to me. I mean, I memorize a song really quickly, so that's how it is with the script. I can't memorize anything. <laughs> you can't? No. I really can't. Like, I mean, when I have to shoot a scope commercial, it's mm. really a... Scope commercial. It's, that's not a joke. <laughs> that, that's not meant to be a place to laugh. <laughs> right. Oh, but are you, you kidding me? I'm on Sarah Lee Bread. <laughs> I love Sara Lee Bread. I didn't know you were the spokes girl. You're, you're the Sara Lee Bread girl? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not a spokesperson. I'm just on their bread. Oh. <laughs> what do you do for the bread? I do nothing. They just send me boxes of bread. All right. Well, you're, she's certainly not on the no car plan then. And, you know, we were talking earlier about one of these contestants on American Idol who was a Barney kid. And you were a Barney kid. When I kid. was on Barney? Well, let me, this is Erica Rhodes, okay. who was on Idol last night, actually. It's a bit bizarre. She was a Barney kid, we mm -hmm. discovered. But she came into audition it, with a whip and a bunch of plastic and, and leather and latex and stuff. Hey, oh, da, 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 da. Does that sound familiar? That, does that voice, that falsetto sound familiar? Not yet? No. Okay. Your mind. What's the big dream here? The big dream no, is. is. <laughs> well, I want people to know that Barney kids grow up. To be wow. dirty little girls. Well, I'm not dirty. Naughty. I mean, my. <laughs> okay, Randy, yes or no? I like her. I'm going to say yes. Neil? I think you might actually do really well. I say yes. Cara? Definitely. Erica? You're through. And remember, I love you. I think she sounds a little older. She's probably a little. She's yeah, probably. Yeah, she's probably a different generation. Yeah. Well, what, what's where do you guys? Where is that shot? That's in Texas. Right, it's in Texas. Mm -hmm. And what's it like to go to the set of that? Because it's it's shot in Texas. Most stuff's done in Hollywood. And that's a very popular show. How's it different from where you work now? Well, that's where I started, so I didn't really know anything different when I began.